The film begins with a man leaving his house very calmly. He climbs into his boat, leaves his backpack and drives through some rocks until he reaches the immensity of the ocean, a little away from the shore he is waiting for something, suddenly, a dense fog stalks the saltwater sailor, diminishing his vision, something hits his boat from below and he almost falls. He starts to see what happened. Look closely, something approaching and I see a larger boat passing by him. His name is delusional and there doesn't seem to be anyone inside. He holds on to this one and says, hello repeatedly to see if anyone is in there, as no one responds, he ties his boat to this one that doesn't belong to him, climbs into the larger one to investigate or perhaps to take advantage of the situation he climbs down to the bottom to the bedroom, the beds are empty. There is some food in the kitchen. He continues to inspect the things the owners left behind. He gets to the controls and calls someone at the port, but no one gives him an answer. He goes back to the deck of the sailboat. He walks around a couple of times to see if he can find anything. Then he realizes that his little paper boat is nowhere to be seen, that he is very frightened, he picks up some binoculars with the aim of spotting something in the distance, but he can't see anything at all. The sailor, who is not the name and what to call Luis, because everyone is called Luis, waits for the fog to go away. He uses the binoculars for another while more listens to some sounds from a lower part and starts to see what happens below. I see a door that closes very hard because of the wind. He leaves it open again with more security, unfolds the sail and they begin to sail faster by the sea. He changes the direction of the sail and the course, as he seems to know where to go. Then he checks the engine and repairs it with a hammer. Luis is very bored, he looks through the binoculars of his beloved boat. Without finding it. He still asks for assistance by radio again, because he is lost, he gets angry, because help does not show up, the sail moves abruptly, and almost pushes him into the ocean, which would have been fatal. Fortunately, he makes a strong grab for it. He returns safely to the deck, starts to urinate, the door closes from behind, and when he wanted to open it he could not. The door is stuck and nothing can open it. Luis thinks how to get out of the bathroom, he takes something from his pocket to damage the lock on the mirror drawer, he discovers some blood and some scissors too. He hears someone on the radio, answering, looks out the window and sees a big boat near the sailboat, with everything he finds. He tries to break down the door, to no avail. He takes a hand out of the window, making signs, grabs a rope and throws it out of the boat to stop the engine, but it gets caught with this, and hangs him horribly, with something else as a hook he manages to escape, taken to the dumbest death of the cinema, Luis wakes up because he was unconscious. A while observes through the window and the boat and towards gone because the disgrace pursues me in the mirror of the bathroom of the mark that left the rope and the blow in the head that was given suddenly the boat begins to flood slowly. And the sailor president that something is wrong, he hears through the door the sound of water coming in he thinks it is a person walking around, but not with a longer tube, he tries to untangle the sail from its coupling. He takes a thinner yellow rope and pulls it through its entire length. In this way, he wraps the sail so that it no longer drifts without direction. The water is getting higher and higher. Luis tries to take some of it from the bathroom faucet, but nothing comes out. The boat is very still and obedient in the middle of the ocean, the sailor hears something splashing outside. However, he does not know what it is. He starts to pull on the red rope and sees that it is cut. He notices that the boat starts to move again at high speed and with no fixed direction. After a while, he feels the water entering the bathroom, takes some of it, asks the person outside, in quotation marks, to open the door, please. The fresh water leaks out from underneath him. He asks to be helped again, as he is no thief. Fuck you with your water take another bit, he tastes salt water and now, if he gets scared, a big storm is coming in the distance and so is the night. At that, Luis keeps throwing as much water as he can with a little jug out the window. The boat begins to shake heavily from the winds and rain. Luis tries to hold on wherever he can to avoid getting hit. The weather is very wild and is flooding everything quickly. The sailor prepares to cut the yellow rope, but it is very difficult, because of the onslaught of the waves, the water level in the bathroom is almost half. In one jerk, he cuts his finger with the razor and screams in pain. Even so, he keeps trying, the candles stop working and Luis breathes a little calmly. The room is almost flooded. Luis falls asleep climbing on the sink. The next morning, he feels very bad, at least the storm is gone. He opens the window to get some fresh air. He stretches his body, as he feels stiff like the kid. With what little strength he has, he tries to knock down the door with his body. 
He tries with his legs too, but the sailboat is of quality, he doesn't give up, he looks at the lock under the water and knocks the door down. Finally, Luis manages to get out of the bathroom, reaches the deck and gets his soul back, opens some drawers, finds some spare rope and some tanks, grabs the demonic door of the bathroom and takes it to the top. He ties the tanks to the door and throws it into the sea. He made a small floating raft, then takes some more stuff. Rooms. His plan is not to die at all costs, even if there is no coast. He drinks some water from a bottle he found the most flooded sailboat, makes other strange noises climbs on the improvised raft and leaves this boat cursed by Satan, he looks at it from afar waiting for something to happen. A few minutes pass and he is still waiting, you are not going to sink, eh? I made it back to the boat. Better to die with some comfort. He climbs back in and goes down to the quarters, starts draining all the water back into the ocean, connects to a small motor, to a battery to draw more liquid. He puts some patches of the hit sectors and paints them and goes back to the controls to ask for help. No one answers, he eats something in the galley. The boat is as good as new again with no sinking face or anything. He climbs the mast, ties a rope and sees another boat in the distance, very close, takes another rope and goes back to his raft to row to this other one. He sees the sailboat again, it is approaching with murderous intentions, so Luis throws himself to the side. The sailor is almost run over at sea, night falls, Luis is adrift. Some animals find him, but they are friendly, mammalian dolphins. Or, maybe not. They greet him as if to say how the fuck did you get here, human. Suddenly, they are gone, leaving him alone again. The killer sailboat looms out of nowhere, for this is not over yet. Luis doesn't know whether to try to climb aboard or let it go. On second thought, he swims back to them, manages to climb up to the deck, he is dying from the cold, goes down to the rooms to look for a blanket, turns on a flashlight, walks around the place looking for something, finds a purple blanket and lies down on the bed, another day begins, Luis wakes up with the flashlight on. He looks out the window, but there is no land in sight, do you want to go out? But that door is stuck too. That's how Wiki found it. The other bathroom is enough. He hears something suspicious, wants to open another drawer he hadn't seen, gets it, but hears someone. He finds a bloody knife. The sailboat in top speed mode, finally heads back home. Luis wants to open the window. The small hatch closes mysteriously. Aeolus is very close to hitting the harbor. The sailor realizes this, asks someone to stop the ship. He is desperate, unable to do anything in that hole of nothingness. Eolisel changes direction and completely stops the door, Solita opens, Luis looks carefully to see if there is a joker, then slowly leaves the site, looks out the window and learns that he is a few meters from home. He opens the door scared to death, because he is still suspicious of everything. This man goes up on deck and finds the boat parked furious, leaves the site, takes a tube in search of the culprit, looks inside some abandoned buildings, but there is no one, he hears some noises in the distance and turns back to see who is out there. The sailboat begins to move away on its own back to the ocean, Luis chases it walking from the east coast and continues to leave without saying goodbye, he starts running to see it from above and out of nowhere it disappeared. Finally, the sailor walks back to his ranch on the shore, he finds his humble boat parked as if nothing had happened. It's happened, but it's all happened, right, folks, end of debout. That's it, friends, this was the movie I brought you this time I hope you liked it and if you didn't and don't forget to stop by my channel and watch my other videos, leave a like and a comment and subscribe by activating the little bell because if you don't there is no chart.